Hi all, this is Animesh and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to do exploratory data analysis for stock data and the stock that we have chosen is a Netflix live stock. In the previous video, I showed you how you can download the stock live data using the Y Finance package that is Yahoo Finance and you can store it in a CSV or Excel format. If you have not seen my previous video, then you can check out my previous video. I'll share the link. Now let us get started. So first of all, once we have our data with us, first we will look at what are the data types and what are the non-null or the missing values in our data. So we see that we have six variables and most of the data types are float except the volume which is having the integer data type. Now that we can see that we don't have any missing values then that is actually a good thing but now we are also going to see that the one variable that we did not see in this info is the date because date is an index this is not a part of the data frame as a column so what we are going to do is for analysis is that we will convert this index into a column and then we are going to convert this data type into date time format so First, we do the reset index. This reset index will do the conversion of the index into the column. And then we are going to convert this column into the date time format. And let's check. Now, now we can see the date as a column and having a data type as date time. So this is what we wanted. Now, moving forward, we are going to create another data frame, which is nothing but just dates in sequence without any Saturdays or Sundays missing in it because what we see in the stock data the Saturdays and Sundays that is a non-working days that includes holidays also are not included in the stock data so what we are going to do is we are going to create an empty data frame or a data frame that contains only the column that is all the days over the years since the stock was launched and all the dates without any missing numbers of dates so we created pd data frame pd date range from this particular date that is the date when the data uh, was launched the stock was launched and then up till the latest date now let us execute it and just check now we can see we have a data frame that contains the dates column without any missing values now what we are going to do is we are going to do a merge of this particular data frame with our stock data that we have taken from the Y finance now the merging that we are going to do is the left join because we want all the dates and we want to join this on the left side and this data on the right side and we will look how we can fill in the any values that may have been there because of the dates which were not there in the actual stock data so moving forward let's just execute this and we see that created a new data frame that contains all the dates and there may be some missing values which we can see there are a lot of missing values because of the holidays and non-working days so now how we are going to fill this we'll look into it but let's take only the relevant columns because right now just for the analysis we want only two columns one the date create and adjusted close that is the adjusted closer price of the stock of that day now let's just execute this and we get the two required columns now that we have the required columns now we are going to fill the na values in it now there is a way to fill the na values for such a time series data a very good methodology is interpolate method using linear now if you want me to explain more about it in detail then uh, you can comment me in the comment box i'll make a video for this separately but in a general on a high level i can explain that this does the interpolation that is filling of the na values using the linear regression method of a linear polynomial function so it will fill these na values using the linear regression methodology 
okay so so far just for understanding you can uh, take that understanding and I'll just execute it and what now we are going to do we are going to create one more column which contains only the month and the day and not the year because we want to do the analysis of the day and the month of each particular year and just average it out and just see whether what is the pattern or is there any seasonality that we can see through the visualization whether any particular days in the year the stock prices fall suddenly or there is a certain peak in the stock prices over the year is there a such kind of pattern that we can see so let's see so first we will do the cleaning and pre-processing in that way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the date column and then i'm using dt function and strf time function and i'm only extracting the month and the day this will give me the month and the day and i'll just name it as date mod and i'll execute it and let's see and now i got this date month and day column now we are going to just create a new data frame which contains the aggregated value with the date and the month okay now aggregation would be mean so what i'll do is i'll group by date and month and i'll take the mean of the adjusted closing price of the stock and let's check this data frame and we get the day of the month and the mean price over all the years since the stock was launched and so we have got this pre-processed data now i'm going to plot using this data and i'm going to plot a bar plot so i'm going to take uh, the package of matplotlib by by plot for figures and see what to do the bar plot and the size that i'm taking is 50 and 10 that is the width of the plot is going to be larger because we are going to see over a period of 365 days and now i'm going to pass in the bar plot the y that is the price of the stock and x axis as the index that is the day and the month of a year okay and i'm going to just rotate the annotation uh, with 90 degrees so now let's just execute this this may take some time now we have this bar plot so it is very much squeezed now let's just double click on it to magnify it and we see there is some kind of trend over the years say if you pick say for example this one so there is a fall in the stock price on a particular date and that is 21st of january so this generally happens over the years this is about the mean of the stock price and there is a peak that comes on every year in general with the mean strategy is 20th of january there is a peak in the stock price now you can see there is a very sharp decline in the stock price on 29th of february now this is an anomaly because we can ignore this because this is not correct because 29th of february comes only once in of four years so this we can just ignore so let's just move forward and i see there is some seasonality some kind of trend let's take a certain fall in somewhere in month of uh, november i can see let's just scroll till november and yeah you can see that on 20th of november there is sudden fall in the stock price and on 18th of november it is quite high and there is sudden drop in the stock price that means there is there is a trading opportunity we can see that means we can sell the stock at this and we can uh, buy the stock on 20th of november but this is just a, a analysis and this video uh, is just for educational purpose so please don't do any uh, uh, buying action or selling action based on 
the analysis that I'm showing. This is just for your understanding. Okay, so we have seen, we can see that there is some trend, some seasonality. We get some idea about the stock. Now, moving forward, now let us create a histogram using the stock. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the closing price and plot a hist with bin as 10. Let's see. And we see that uh, the stock histogram is quite skewed. It is uh, highly right skewed. Uh, this is uh, quite evident because uh, the stock was launched so many years ago. At that time, this, the price of stock was very low and it consistently remained low for a uh, longer duration. So we can see that, yeah, there was a, a skewness in the stock data but let's now plot a line plot of stock data over the years since it was launched so i'm going to take the uh, adjusted closing price on the y-axis and on the x-axis i'm going to take the index and let's just execute it and we see a beautiful line plot that shows how the stock progressed over the years and there is a lot of ups and downs that was witnessed and specifically we saw the uh, crashing of the stock price in the year 2020 and 19 because of uh, the covid uh, this happened and after that the there was some overpricing of the stock the stock price just showed very high and there was certain correction when this uh, IT boom was little bit uh, busted so there was slashing in the price of the adjusted stock and again there is an upward trend we see in the stock so this is what uh, we see uh, as the trend in the stock price but uh, for our and machine learning and for our analysis we want we don't want the anomalies that sudden drop because of some uh, external factors this so we will look into it how to deal with uh, such scenarios uh, meanwhile let's just see uh, the correlation between these variables so what i'll do is i'll plot a heat map using the c bone and i will pass the df dot correlation corr function and i will annotate it and see how much is the correlation so let's just execute it with a heat map i come to know that all these values like adjusted close low high open are highly correlated it's almost one so it is giving me a round figure one and i see that uh, the volume has a negative correlation of minus 0.2 it is weakly correlated with the price of the stock so this is what uh, we can take as a takeaway from this analysis now i was talking about the the sudden drop during the COVID time so we need to do something because this is uh, not a general trend of the stock this was due to some uh, certain external factors unexpected factors so what we are going to do is we are going to slice this data from here and we keep the data uh, from here up till here we are not slicing it here because then we will be left with very low data and that would be very uh, difficult to you know for model to uh, fit the model it will be a quite a underfitting so let's just uh, take till uh, since the covid uh, uh, event happened okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just slice using the lock and i execute it and then i'm going to check it again with a line plot and i see a much better plot where there is uh, much uh, seasonality and trend being observed without much external anomaly so this was all about uh, the eda the exploratory data analysis in this video i hope you guys like this video in the next video we are going to do the pre-processing and create a machine learning learning model which will do the prediction of the stock whether the stock is going to rise or fall so please do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye